What's good, Josh? Bull Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out ten amazing wrestling moments that came totally out of nowhere. The great thing about wrestling is sometimes we can, as fans, somewhat predict what's about to happen, just storyline wise, what makes sense, what doesn't make sense, and uh, sometimes there's moments that's so out of left field that you're like, this actually makes things even better in a sense like you you can't predict it because you're not expecting it to happen and all of a sudden now you have a, a moment that you'll always remember that wasn't even planned you know so we're gonna check out some of these moments uh and we i uh blah, blah, blah. i don't even know what i was about to say there i honestly just lost my train of thought appreciate all the love and support oh man <laughs> let's get into it possible comeback of an iconic figure out of the blue and snow or a truly savage beatdown catching just about the entire planet off guard on the night these wrestling occurrences all stun the world in the best way possible gareth here from what culture wrestling and here are 10 amazing wrestling moments that came totally out of nowhere number 10 brock breaks the dead man and his streak Ooh, it's probably yeah. wise to get arguably the biggest shocker in wrestlemania history of out course of, the of way course early, of course right? and while there will always be those who argue that such a monumental victory should have been reserved for an up-and-coming talent or a full-time main event sensation who yeah. else on the wwe roster around the time of wrestlemania 30 could have realistically brutalized the undertaker to the point of massacring his precious streak the somewhat underwhelming build heading into that latest chapter of the beast versus the dead man seemed to suggest that taker was unquestionably walking out of new orleans with a 22 an hour yet it was yeah. perhaps that rather understated lead-in that set the stage for the planet to react in the way it did the second it became clear the demon of death valley wasn't rising up off the canvas after a third and final f5 shocked meme faces are plenty and a both astounding and unsettling visual that will be scorched into wrestling history forever mm -hmm. number nine roderick strong becomes undisputed nxt takeover that was a great oh that was such a great moment oh that was Seeing that happen just was so cool to see, bro. New Orleans 2018. Jumping back to November 1st, 2017, a certain Roderick Strong opting to turn down the opportunity to become the newest member of the Undisputed Era on an episode of NXT helped to set the stage for the long-awaited return of all things War Games. Or should I say, War Games. And it was that violent swerve a few months earlier that helped to completely conceal any concept of the back-breaking star ever aligning himself with the likes of Adam Cole, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly heading into TakeOver New Orleans NXT Tag Team Championship Dusty Rhodes Classic Triple Threat Final. Mm -hmm. Easy for me to say. With Cole and O'Reilly trying to stave off the challenge of the Authors of Pain and Strong and Pete Dunn without the help of an injured fish, the group's usual numbers game seemingly not being there to call upon looked destined to lead to an NXT Tag Team Championship loss. But little did fans know that old Roddy had actually planned on sticking the knife into his bruiserweight partner. With his deeply unexpected turn even catching Cole and O'Reilly off guard on the that night. That shit was crazy. A development that subsequently led to one of the most deliciously smug grins of AC's career. Mm -hmm. Few moments are as fun to watch for the jaw-dropping action in between the ropes as they are for the simply stunned reaction from all those in attendance. This is one of them. Number eight, oh, The Rock joins great the corporation. Moment. Survivor Fantastic Series 1998. Moment. WWE and Vince Russo managed to pull off an utterly masterful piece of unanticipated business under the bright lights of Survivor Series 1998. With The Rock very much butting heads with his boss in the lead up to that year's edition of the Big Four event, one that saw some of the company's finest battle it out in a tournament to crown a new WWF champion, everything looked to be pointing towards Vince McMahon doing everything in his power to get his top strap on his apparent new chosen one, Mankind. But in a moment, that evidently riffed on the controversial events that had gone down at the event one year earlier. You know what I'm talking about. Mr. McMahon's ringing of the bell without mankind even hinting at submitting to a rocky sharpshooter in the final set the table for a hug heard around the world. Mm -hmm. Just like that, a star that was finally starting to click with those inside arenas well and truly turned his back on the people and likely led to an entire generation suffering from WWE trust issues going <laughs> forward. But it works. It works, man. That, that version of The Rock definitely works because it ultimately creates even the bigger baby face in stone cold steve austin number seven tomaso champa does it himself 
NXT TakeOver Chicago. Another game-changing turn left this the Black and Gold so faithful good. in need of a serious lie down one year before Roddy's unexpected TakeOver twist. And while the odd breadcrumb had admittedly been left in the form of Tommaso Ciampa teasing lashing out against his DIY pal Johnny Gargano, after coming up short against him in the 2016 Cruiserweight Classic, that still couldn't prepare those inside of the All-State Arena so for the events that would follow the babyface duo's failed attempt at recapturing doubles gold at TakeOver Chicago. With Tommaso ultimately fearing the idea of being replaced and forgotten the second it became clear that he'd done some serious damage to his knee, Champa absolutely shocked the world by snapping on Johnny uh, Wrestling as the go home and his logo bled onto screens. Still ranking as easily one of the most startling WWE beats of modern times, Black Heart broke the hearts of fans the world over. After Trips and the gang had brilliantly lured their passionate supporters into a false sense of security. More of this in 2023, yeah? Number 6, Tyson Fury Dex Theories Cash in Hopes, Clash of the Castle. With the champ being spotted chatting to both Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre backstage at various points. This was a, a, a crazy little moment as well. Just, just him being there at ringside and the way they set it up and framed it up. It was a, it, this was a crazy little moment. The way WWE managed to infuse the heavyweight world champion into the madness was about as unpredictable as it gets. Once again, teasing a scenario where the tribal chief could have been relieved of his undisputed WWE Universal Championship without actually having to eat a pinfall or submission. Mm -hmm. Austin Theory's music dramatically hit as both titans lay battered in Fantastic, the middle of the ring. Uh, the pop event. was real, I tell you. And great. I know, I was there. But it paled in comparison to the one that met the sound of Fury's fist shockingly colliding <laughs> with the youngster's head as he once again failed to cash in his money in the <laughs> contract and we'll find that. Kevin Owens butts the boss Smackdown September 12 2017 I remember watching this and I was like holy this was bro this was so crazy he, Vince McMahon taking that head but that was wild bro Oh, that was so Dina. crazy. Nothing guarantees an unfiltered eruption of unsettled noise, quite like the visual of a decrepit old man getting horrifically brutalized in the middle of a ring. And that was precisely what went down when Kevin Owens suddenly decided to lay his hands on his one-time boss back in September 2017, mm -hmm. in the lead-up to a Hell in a Cell battle with Vince's son, Shane. And the unplanned visual of the WWE chairman in his early 70s being busted open hard way, hard by way, a prize bro. fighter headbutt actually helped further ramp up the tension and drama of a program that had already seen the despicable KO take aim at Shane's kids in a promo. McMahon wasn't done there though, because of course he wasn't. As the former Universal Champion then nailed his now disgraced former boss with both a super kick and frog splash. Oh, Just to really hammer home how far moment. he was willing to go to inflict torture on Shane and his family and leave everyone watching on with their jaws dangling off the that floor was for that crazy. matter. Number 4, Aubrey Feels the Wrath of Athena. AEW Rampage November 18th, 2022. AEW's refusal to unleash the sight of a performer lashing out at an official as often as some of their rivals paved the way for an exchange which managed to wake up a typically sleepy Rampage crowd recently. With Athena fully embracing the evil within on the back of her recent victory over Madison Rain, the former WWE star opted to inflict further damage on her already emphatically beaten adversary, and it was this post-match battering that ultimately led to a concerned Aubrey Edwards trying to intervene, only to eat an absolute shot to the mug for her Damn. troubles from the out-of-control Athena. One deliciously violent thump later, the one-time Ember Moon went from pretty horrible villain to public enemy number one in an instant. If only more of these one-hour slices of AEW Friday Night action boasted this sort of shocking crowd-popping brilliance, eh? Number three, Daniel Bryan Damn. is shockingly cleared, then turns heel not long after. Smackdown, man. And this was good. Because Daniel Bryan wasn't as over as he was originally. He was over when people found out he could wrestle. You know, people loved it, but the Yes movement wasn't the same. And I'm so glad that he did go heel because he needed to go heel. And it worked brilliantly, brilliantly because it ended up, and I'm sure it wasn't uh, in WWE's original plans, but it ended up helping Kofi in the situation of Kofi Mania being a thing. You know, once again, that wasn't their plan, but... Him turning heel 
definitely was a good thing for his character and just uh you know it, it kind of freshened him up in a sense i love this march 20th 2018 it was no secret that brian had been doing everything in his power to reverse his heartbreaking retirement undergoing hyperbaric oxygen therapy treatments during his two years away from the squared circle but both brian and WWE weren't content with merely stunning the planet with this heartwarming news of him actually being in the clear nearly eight months on from that rousing return brian managed to come away with both a set of phenomenal balls to place on his mantelpiece and his first WWE championship uh -huh. since laughing in the face of retirement and an almost instantly iconic planet's champion was magnificently and appallingly born in the process that number two great. malachi black is unexpectedly all elite aw dynamite road rager 2021 those let go by the biggest wrestling player in town usually find themselves sitting on the sidelines for 90 days and that's what made the deeply unexpected arrival of the former alistair black on aw programming such a staggering sight to behold. Black had only been let go from WWE on June 2nd, 2021. Yet here he was on July 7th, Dynamite Road Rager just over a month later. But how I hear you say. Well, mm. as reported by PW Insider's Mike Johnson, AEW's fierce rival had actually made a rather embarrassing clerical error. Rather than updating his deal from the 30-day non-compete NXT performers tend to be given to the typical 90-day version upon calling Black up to the main roster a few years back, the company completely missed this all important detail and that's oh. what paved the way for one of the loudest waves of raw amazement ever to suddenly crash onto the AEW scene number Damn. one it's sting AEW dynamite winter is coming 2020 it was in those darkest of times that tony khan's promotion seemed to find a way to deliver more flickers of hope than ever john moxley's passionate first reign with the AEW world championship mm -hmm. the late mr Brody lee's epic rise and the sort of in-ring work that could instantly drag you away from the depressing reality outside your door week after week after week but the moment that easily ranks as the most memorable and celebrated occurrence from those dark mid-pandemic days came during a particularly cold night on the all elite calendar known as winter is coming with AEW ultimately sending their audience home with the infuriating visual of kenny omega cheating his way to a victory against john moxley and his first AEW world championship win tony khan knew he had to deliver a simply euphoric moment of unexpected awesomeness beforehand that was and he cool did visual. not disappoint with the day debut of an icon saying nothing sting was able to leave audiences hanging on his every stare throughout an absolutely <laughs> electric three minute tnt return and perhaps even more amazingly the best was still yet to come from the icon on AEW television this and that's true. our list of any other amazing wrestling moments that came totally out of nowhere let us know all about them no that was pretty dope that was uh some good uh entries on this list sting Coming to AEW was a cool visual moment to see. And the fact that he's still still there, you know, and, and doing his thing is always awesome to see. Um, so I want to see what amazing moments you can think of that came out of nowhere. If it's in AEW or WWE or wherever it's at, put it down below. Let me know. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. And I am still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See you on the next one. Peace.